Hello and welcome to Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Shall we open door number seven of the Advent calendar? Although the reading is Genesis chapter 12 verse 3, it would be fair to go back a couple of verses so we reminded of who we are talking about. Now Yahweh said to Abraham, Leave your country and your relatives and your father's house and go to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. You will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and I will curse him who curses you. All the families of the earth will be blessed through you. So according to this prophecy, a descendant of Abraham will bless all the families of the earth. It's Numbers chapter 22 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to bear understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 22. The children of Israel travelled and camped in the plains of Moab, beyond the Jordan, at Jericho. Balak, the son of Zephor, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites. Moab was very afraid of the people, because they were many. Moab was distressed because of the children of Israel. Moab said to the elders of Midian, Now this multitude will lick up all that is around us, as the ox licks up the grass of the field. Balak the son of Zippor was king of Moab at that time. He sent messages to Balaam the son of Behor to Petor, which is by the river, to the land of the children of his people, to call them, saying, Look, there is a people who come out of Egypt, Observe, they cover the surface of the earth, and they are staying opposite me. Please come now, therefore, curse me, this people, for they are too mighty for me. Perhaps I shall win, that we may strike them, and that I may drive them out of the land. For I know that he whom you bless is blessed, and he whom you curse is cursed. The elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed, with the rewards of divination in their hand. They came to Balaam and spoke to him the words of Balak. He said to them, Lodge here this night, and I will bring you word again, as Yahweh shall speak to me. The princes of Moab stayed with Balaam. God came to Balaam and said, Who are these men with you? Balaam said to God, Balak the son of Zippor, king of Moab, has said to me, Look, the people that have come out of Egypt covers the surface of the earth. Now come, curse me them. Perhaps I shall be able to fight against them, and so drive them out. God said to Balaam, You shall not go with them. You shall not curse the people, for they are blessed. Balaam rose up in the morning, and said to the princes of Balak, Go to your land, for Yahweh refuses to permit me to go with you. The princes of Moab rose up, and went to Balak and said, Balaam refuses to come with us. Balak again sent princes, more, more honourable than they. They came to Balaam and said to him, Thus said Balak, the son of Zippor, Please let nothing hinder you from coming to me, for I will promote you to a very great honour, and whatever you say to me I will do. Please come therefore and curse this people for me. Balaam answered the servants of Balak, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I can't go beyond the word of Yahweh my God, to do less or more. Now therefore, please please wait also here this night, so that I, I may know what Yahweh will speak to me more. God came to Balaam at night and said to him, If the men have come to call you, rise up, go with them, but only the word which I speak to you, that you shall do. Balaam rose up in the morning and saddled his donkey, and went with the princes of Moab. God's anger burned because he went, and Yahweh's angel placed himself in the way for an enemy against him. Now he was riding on his donkey, and his two servants were with him. The donkey saw Yahweh's angel standing in the way, with his sword drawn in his hand, and the donkey turned aside out of the way and went into the field. Balaam struck the donkey to turn it into the way. Then Yahweh's angel stood in a narrow path between the vineyards, all being on this side and the one on that side. The donkey saw Yahweh's angel, and she thrust herself to the wall, and crushed Balaam's foot against the wall. He struck her again. 
your wise angel went further and stood in a narrow place where there was no way to turn either to the right hand or to the left. The donkey saw your wise angel and she laid down on the Balaam. Balaam's anger burned and he struck the donkey with his staff. Yahweh opened his mouth for the donkey and she said to Balaam, What have I done to you so that you have struck me these three times? Balaam said to the donkey, Because you have mocked me, I wish to wear a sword in my hand, for now I would have killed you. The donkey said to Balaam, Am I not your donkey on which you have ridden all your life long until today? Was I ever in the habit of doing so to you? He said, No. Then Yahweh opened the eyes of Balaam, and he saw Yahweh's angel standing in the way, with his sword drawn in his hand, and he bowed his head and fell on his face. Yahweh's angel said to him, Why have you struck your donkey these three times? Look, I have come out as an enemy, because your way is perverse before me. The donkey saw me and turned aside before me these three times. Unless she had turned aside from me, surely now I would have killed you and saved her life. Balaam said to Yahweh's angel, I have sinned, for I didn't know that you stood in the way against me. Now therefore, if it displeases you, I will go back again. Yahweh's angel said to Balaam, Go with the men. But only the word that I shall speak to you, that you shall speak. So Balaam went with the prince of Balak. When Balak heard that Balaam had come, he went out to meet him, to the city of Moab, which is on the border of the Arnon, which is on the utmost part of the border. Balak said to Balaam, Didn't I earnestly send to you to call you? Why didn't you come to me? Am I not able indeed to promote you to honour? Balaam said to Balak, Look, I have come to you. Have I now any power at all to speak anything? The word that God puts in my mouth, that shall I speak. Balaam went with Balak, and they came to Kiriath Huzoth. Balak sacrificed cattle and sheep, and sent to Balaam, and to the princes who were with him. In the morning, Balak took Balaam, and brought him up into the high places of Baal, and he saw from there part of the people. Now Balaam was a prophet about the time that Moses was coming through. Every now and again God would speak to him, tell him what to say and do. He had a reputation in all those parts for being on the line of power. And when Moab's king heard Moses was coming, he called him in his needy hour. He said, Balaam, come and curse these Israelites. If you do, I believe I could beat them in a fight.